Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Realm of Magic. So, we are starting off playing with Otto today because our girl Anissa is sleeping, so we're gonna worry about playing with her later. Now, I did want to kind of dive into the whole potion making, if we can even get that far, but the first thing that I noticed is that you actually have a section where it says magic and it allows you to get familiars um you can open spell book and then also practice magic so we're gonna probably do practicing magic and just did she just disappear oh we're gonna probably do practicing magic in just a little bit and boo you are breaking out honey uh, -uh. we gotta get you some acne medication on that actually um because we don't like that now i don't know where the heck you get a familiar so we're gonna have to figure that out because i absolutely have no idea where so we can do untamed magic practical magic or mischief magic oh, let's do practical magic girl are you you good sis what's going on i didn't even like mention the big thing is i have a new house uh i freaking am obsessed and in love with this house i i'm so proud of myself for it you don't even understand oh my god he's doing it but i did upload a speed build last night it was kind of a late upload but you guys can go ahead and check that out i'll link it down in the description and put an i button in the top right hand corner but i freaking oh it gives me such like witchy vibes and i'm just i freaking love it i love it love it love it all right what's happening Oh, so he's just practicing his magic. Yes, boo, you get it. I'm assuming he's not very powerful considering his magic tricks seem pretty weak right now. Uh, but we'll get there. I promise you. Oh, okay. So since we practice magic, it's leveling this section up. So it says, the spark of magic begins to flow and swirl. Practice magic, learn and make new potions on the cauldron, cast spells, and search for tomes to gain experience. So we have to search tomes. Okay, 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 okay. Now, I don't necessarily know where we start with her. So we have to learn a spell. So how do we do that? So the spellcaster's journey would not be complete without access to an arsenal of varied potent spells. Search for tomes in the magical realm or ask powerful spellcasters to teach you their secrets. Good luck. That's so cool that you can ask people to help you as well. Oh. Um, Okay, so what I will do, I think I'm going to head over to the magic realm with Otto and Enya. Oh, oh, okay. Y'all see this? He learned a new spell. We're Perio. We can open our spell book. Oh, cool. Okay, so we have one out of nine spells learned. So fix a broken object or make crafted objects higher quality. Oh. <gasps> Hold up. So if something's broken, I can just use a spell. Oh my god, I can't wait. I, I've never wanted something to break so badly in my house. Can you break, please? Can I break something? Can we upgrade it? Um, I wonder if we, if how we would be able to do that, actually. Uh, magic. Practice magic. How do you use a spell, though? Oh my god, look at her belly showing a little bit more. Oh my god, can we feel her belly? I think that I still have the random pose that happens when, um, yeah, definitely still have the random pose, but that's kind of cute though, even though his head is literally being eaten up by her stomach, but it's still cute, you know, <laughs> his hand, what are you doing down there, Otto? Get it? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna avoid that. So give yourself a pep talk. What is this? Uh, ask for reassurance. Okay, y'all can stop now. Let's go ahead and put some acne medication on this because, um, we just, we need to get rid of that, you know? So, uh, let's go. Did he just change his PJs to do that? I think he did. Okay. Are we able to buy any actual books? Oh, okay, so here we can purchase the vampire tomes, but I'm assuming since they said that I have to find the tomes in the magic realm, we're gonna have to search for them, or I don't know where they are at, because I don't think a world without magic. Wait, is this a new book? Or has this always been here? Broomies? <gasps> Wait, are these new books? A renowned sci-fi author brings to like bring brings to life a terrifying alternate history where magic never existed. Broomies? That's so cool. It's like Roomies, but Broomies. Phil is a practical spellcaster and Oliver studies mischief. They've been friends since childhood, but can they handle living together? Wait, this is so cool. Are these all Wait, are these all magic books? No, because then we have Darley Porter. Like is Darley Porter. 
UK English lady? Uh, Harmony Ginger and Rowan Measley. Wait, why Darley? Wait, what was the other person's name? Wasn't it Henry Puffer or something? The Lord of the Swings. Which witch be which witch witch? Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> which witch did switch my witch? A bewitching switch does make my eye twitch. Oh my god, say that ten times fast. Which witch be which witch witch? <laughs> oh, which witch be which witch witch? Great. By Professor Toot. You know, we love these books. We have Wands of Desire, Untamed Treachery of the Heart. Oh my god, this, these are so awesome. The first unicorn. Oh my god, imagine if we had unicorns. <gasps> oh, Sims, bring me horses and unicorns. Actually, there was something that popped up not too long ago. People were talking about horses possibly being in The Sims 4. I mean, I'm down for it. But if horses are coming, there has to be unicorns because... I have a video that I did when I did when I used to play The Sims 3 on here and literally finding a unicorn was the hardest thing for me. It was the biggest struggle because back then my game was extremely laggy and just it was not the tea. Oh wait she's like getting she's like waking up so like I guess we could probably head over with her but she has to like eat and do everything so I'm not gonna take them all to the magic realm so we'll have her get up and do her stuff but um yeah like it took me so long to get the freaking unicorn. Uh, also, now that I see Nancy Landgrab, because we saw her in the last episode, so there is a mod, which I completely forgot to install before I recorded this, because I had my game open already, um, and I was meant to put it in, but I forgot to, but there's a mod that makes it so that you don't see those townies, so I'll link that in the description, and I'll also pin it in the top comment, so you guys can go ahead and download if you guys don't want the townies to be um, in your, well, magic realm because i personally don't want to see them in mine but yeah so i'll be definitely linking that and adding it to my own game so by next time i should definitely oh so he just disappears like that well maybe next time i'll also bring um a sim with me uh i wish you could take like a sim with you though I wonder if that's like a one-time use thing or he can use it constantly hopefully you can use it over and over again he really turned up with his uh with his uh Face masks. Girl. I just, we're not even gonna talk about it. We're just, we're gonna enjoy one last day with our townies being, you know, spellcasters or our unplayed townies being spellcasters and then we'll, uh, you know, get back to normal and not have them. <laughs> so, uh, all right. What I wanted to do is go ahead and learn a potion recipe. So let me see what we have to do here. You can pick up a cauldron anytime and begin experimenting to learn new recipes. So since there is a cauldron in here that isn't in use currently, we're going to go ahead and experiment and see what we can make. I'm going to bring Enya over here too because I want to go ahead and see how we can find these tomes that they're speaking of. I don't necessarily know if this is just something that's floating around or am I supposed to look somewhere for the tomes? But I mean, we could also ask spellcasters to help us. So I wonder if we go up to a sage so we have Morgan here that we can ask them. What? Girl, we live in the same house. Why are you texting me? Hey, I heard you and Otto Ventura became good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Oh, I have the whole uh, fame thing here. I'm going to get rid of fame because I don't want that. Ask for right of dissolution. Ask to teach untamed magic. Oh, yes. Teach me magic, please. Your acne is still on your face, boo. We gotta get rid of that. Oh my god, he's about to level up to Neophyte. They said, I can't share my knowledge with just anyone. Let's get to know each other first. Then I'll decide if you're worthy. Okay. <clears throat> boo, you know I am worthy, okay? Let me learn the magic. Did you end up learning anything? <gasps> he's leveled up. Wait, why didn't it... Yo, it never even made it a big deal. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> well, so now that we have leveled up to Neophyte, right? Yeah, we got one talent point. So we have Knowledge is Magic, which says Sim reads and does computer research at a fast rate. These interactions also provide magical ex experience over time. Then we have Blender Arm. Potion crafting speed significantly increased. And then Discharge. This Sim can now cast Discharge, which empties Spellcaster Charge. What the heck does that mean? I have no idea. Oh, we also, are these the negative ones or is there no negatives? 
Incredible Forager. The Sim now receives more items when harvesting magical ingredients in the Magic Realm. And then there's also Experimenter. The experimenting and practicing Sim gains experience faster with less failures. Oh, okay. So I think what I'm going to do is actually do the Experimenter one because I think this one's actually going to benefit him more considering that's kind of where we're at at the moment. So we're going to do that. Now, I wish that they gave us like a little thing like when you know, you level up kind of like when vampires, it like pops up on your screen and stuff. Interesting. So is there actually any plants here that we can get or harvest at least that's special? Go to the garden. Hopefully there's stuff over there that we can gather to start up our garden. Cause at the front of the house, I put three planters. I kind of put like substitute plants there. So it wasn't just like empty planter boxes when I made the house so i want to be able to replace those with some actual magical plants oh search for tomes oh girl i figured it out i figured it out you just gotta search for tomes in here let's find the books Ooh, i see a plant what's this um valerian root oh my god okay we're gonna go ahead and harvest this so a magical bush that produces valerian root okay so we have one plant here there looks to be another one. Oh my god, mandrakes! Harvest mandrake. So we definitely need to build up their gardening skill, that's for sure. We have an apple tree, which I don't think we necessarily need that. These are lemons. Unless we do require them for potions, it could be... Oh, we found a tome of nausea! So we've already searched for tomes, so since we have one, we can go ahead and start reading up um, some magic. But I'm trying to find some more plants. Can we go inside here? You can't go inside here? What? Uh, what the heck? This is so cool. Why would they make you not be able to go in here? Are you? Is this a troll? Like, is it? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Why can't I go inside? That is so disappointing. <laughs> you can't even look in it either. Unless you go inside physically. <laughs> wow. Yo, I'm actually kind of upset about that. Why would they give you a greenhouse that you can't even go inside? <laughs> okay, well, there's minus one points for... Um, Realm of Magic? Why would they make a whole lot or a whole island dedicated to a greenhouse that you're not even able to go inside of? Am I being too dramatic over that or am I right here? Because that, like, it's literally a whole island dedicated to it. Hello? Question mark? <laughs> Baby, what are you doing all over here already? I literally had you be over there so we could look at plants. And he's just, okay. He, he, was, he was probably also mad that you can't go inside the greenhouse. That's probably what it was. You know what, Otto? I'm with you, boo. I feel the same way. That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, we've got mandrakes. What's this? This is a cherry tree, and then this is the apple tree. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we really need. But, uh, yeah, we can go ahead and head back over to Enya. Oh, she, <gasps> no, she has a bladder infection. Oh, baby girl, no. Oh, she's already going to the bathroom. Okay, I think we should definitely send them home and then we'll bring Anissa here instead. I want to head over to the other island over here, which seems really fun. So I want to see if that's where we can get a familiar. Now, are we ready for a familiar? I say yes. So we're going to go to Caster's Alley right after she uses the bathroom. So I definitely want her to practice magic while, we, while she's here. Wait, why? Wait, why isn't she a spellcaster? That was weird. I ended up closing up the save and then joining back and she's back at it. That was really weird. I don't know why it said that she wasn't one. Okay, so what's over here? Oh, this is where we can get our wand. Oh, we can buy wands, tomes, and familiars. Y'all, oh my God, I want to buy a familiar, but I don't know what, what would fit her. Wait, maybe we should get a wand first. I want to get a cute wand. Why is, is that Caleb? Wait, familiar orb of butterfly? 
Raven, Skull. Oh, we can buy tomes here if we wanted to. Um, okay, so I think we're going to start off with the basic wand because, well, actually, we do have money. I kind of like the look of this bone wand, though. Okay, we're going to go for the bone wand, and then we have a butterfly. I'm assuming it's like a bunny butterfly. Then we have a raven and a skull. Let's do the butterfly. I don't know what the heck that is, but you know what? Let's go for it. Thanks for shopping at Juan's Wonderful One Stop. Oh my god, no they didn't. Juan's Wonderful One Stop Wand Warehouse. <laughs> Check back tomorrow as our daily offerings are always changing. The items Anisa bought can be found in her... Oh, see, so I figured that they would be changing. Okay. Well, we have our wand. So, oh, we can set it. Oh, okay. Always use wands. I wanted to try doing magic with the wand. Let's do practice magic and let's do uh, practical magic. <gasps> yes, we have a wand. Oh my God. I'm so geeked right now. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get it, sis. Oh my God. This makes me so excited. All right. So we can bind a familiar if we want to, but I wonder if we're able to do that from here. Okay. So no, we can't. So we have to bind the familiar first. <gasps> Wabbit. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. In the comments, give me some unique names to name this uh, familiar because I have no idea what to name it, but we'll keep it as Wabbit for now. I think we can rename it hopefully after. But it says, this interesting creature is an unexpected entity that defies normal boundaries and demands a closer inspection. Its true nature is unknown. <gasps> oh my god, wait. So now if we go and do magic and familiars, summon familiar? Yo, why is, why? <laughs> oh, it's an astral projection of them. Oh my god, I literally cannot read. So it's not actually her, but it's her. That's kind of cool that they did that, but like, Eliza, sis, what you doing here? All right, so by the looks of it, we can have multiple familiars and we can select which one we want to summon. So we're gonna go ahead and summon. <gasps> oh my God! You're actually like, scarily cute. Oh my God! Can we pet it? I wanna touch you. We can't even pet it. Oh my God, now I'm sad. Okay, not that I expected us to be able to like pet it, but oh look at it <laughs> i want to cry that is the cutest thing ever <laughs> oh my gosh you're gonna be my best friend all right we're bffs forever whether you like it or not oh my god that makes me so excited i want to see what kind of potion ingredients we can get though i wonder if these change as well Active familiar. Anissa's familiar fills her with confidence. Familiars make your magic more potent and offer protection. Oh, okay. I wasn't done reading, but I guess that's fine. So we have, okay, so we have some stuff here. Potion of perk purging. Consuming this potion will reset all your spellcasters perk points. Oh, shoot. Excuse me. This was my cauldron. Oh, wait, we can share a cauldron? Oh, just kidding. It doesn't look like we ended up learning a potion, sadly, which is okay, but uh, maybe we will in the future. So there's a kitchen over here that uh, one of the sages is cooking up some food. So I think what I'm trying to do is also get Enya and Otto their familiars. I want a leaf bat so bad. So bad? <laughs> so bad. So maybe that'll be the next thing that shows up. Uh, I feel like that would be suiting for Enya. That's so weird. When they care for themselves, they literally just chill. Like, in the front of the house, which is weird. But we're gonna send her off to bed. And then, Enya, are you doing okay? Not really. We're gonna actually... We're gonna have her grab some leftovers. How about you? Otto's doing pretty decent, actually. So, we could get him to head over to the magic realm. And see if we can get him a familiar. Now, I don't know if the shop is reset we can just check i'd love to be able to see and maybe we can get something for him travel to magic realm the glimmerstone needs time to recharge its power oh so you can't use it whenever you want got it okay let me though take these plants out um so we can plant our new plants that we have why does it look like squid wait do they have faces on them oh my god it looks kind of like a sloth, doesn't it? A little bit, like the face. 
Am I going crazy? Eat the mandrake. <gasps> what happens when you eat one? Okay, I want to eat one and see if anything bad actually happened. Just don't set the house on fire is all I ask. Oh, <gasps> we have blue fire? Hey. All right, well, since you're here... Oh, wait, do we not get to take the tome home with us? We can only read it there? <gasps> no. I mean, we could purchase the tomes. I think we, we might end up purchasing one. What happened? Did he eat it? <gasps> he just ate it. Are you fine? Oh, I was hoping for some, like, bad reaction or something. I don't know. I just expected Mandrakes to do something to you. But I guess not. Oh, look at her belly in this outfit. Oh, look at it. Oh my god, Enya, you're going to be a mama soon. She's so cute. And I, oh. <laughs> That's all I thought of when I saw her do this. Oh my god, does that mean next episode she might have the baby? Do you think? It could. Oh my god, she might have the baby the next episode, guys. I'm excited. So, in the comments, leave me some magical, mystical baby names for boys or girls, because I don't know what we're having. Counting on you guys for some baby names. So, this is the market. Uh, okay, this one. Let's see if there's anything new here. I want to get them all wands. <gasps> oh, there are new ones. <gasps> yes, the leaf bat is here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. So the leaf bat is here. We're going to get that. Uh, ooh, wand of sylvan forest. I think we got to get that for Enya. Uh, we can also buy the tomes. Wow, these are expensive. I'm going to get them. I mean, we need them to like learn and stuff. So we're going to get that. And then... Otto, we'll have him come over here as well. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. She has a freaking leaf. So I think for Otto, I'm going to go ahead and get the Hex doll. Yeah, we'll just do that. And then for his wand, since this is the only one currently in store, well, we have the bone one for Anissa. So I want her that to be like her wand. We'll do the magician's wand for now. But if there's any other wands in the future that pop up, I want to be able to, you know, get a different one possibly for him. But for now, that is what we have. Where are you going? Who's that? This is Gemma Charm. Friendly introduction. Can we be besties, please? She's not feeling too good at all. My poor girl. Okay. So what I'm going to end up doing, though, is... Oh, what? Girl, I didn't ask you to feel my baby. But, I mean, sure. <laughs> sure. All right. I want to always use this wand. Oh, didn't mean to do that. And set wand to be the favorite wand. And I want to bind the familiar. Sheepy grass. I don't know why. But for some reason, I just really want to name it Squish. Just Squish. I don't know. It's cute. Woo! Oh my god! That's so creepy, but I love it! Squish! Oh, look at it! It's so adorable! Oh my god. Okay, girl, she needs to pee! Her bladder infection is really not helping her right now. Oh no, she's peeing herself. Enya, no. Oh, is there a way to clean yourself? We need to learn a spell if that's possible to clean yourself because that would be everything. Now, is there a shower in here? No, but I'm going to add one <laughs> for the convenience of my own sim. Oh, <laughs> look at it just following her and flying. Oh my god, I just want to cuddle it and just like give it a hug it's so cute look at it it's, oh, it's so cute why is it always facing the other way <laughs> it looks like it's wanting to kill everybody <laughs> like, oh you know what it's like when he's walking forward the familiar is the eyes at the back of his head making sure that nobody messes with him that's a true familiar right there definitely has your back that's for sure. I want to practice unpractical magic with her because the other two are more so focusing on practical magic. Um, oh wait, I didn't mean unpractical. I meant untamed magic and mischief magic. She definitely wants to work on the magic that makes her feel like she has more power over anybody else. So, and that could be some of the magic that is forbidden than the usual stuff. Why is he looking at her like that? Okay, I can't with these this acne. I literally gave you skin treatment and it didn't even work. Oh, wow. I have the power of getting rid of your acne. Lovely. <laughs> Look at them with their familiars. <sighs> this is great. This is great. Girl, you stuck? <laughs> she... The belly is controlling you, not... <laughs> 
not the other way around. Yeah, see, I kind of didn't really add much stuff as far as, like, entertainment, really. I kind of just primarily focused on, uh, making the house look more magical and witchy. So, this girl is not sleeping on the baby girl. You are pregnant. Get yourself in the comfortable bed you, that you have. Go sleep there. Anissa, on the other hand, she's getting a little tired, but I think I wanted to go ahead and practice some magic before uh, we do anything. So I, I do want to get her to level up to the neophyte section or neophyte level. I don't know what you would call that, but let's go ahead and practice some practical magic. Well, since we have the tomes, I wonder if we'll be able to learn something from it. So this is um teaches the reader a spell to transform a hapless sim into an inanimate object to summon the dead from their final resting place instantly incinerate your target with power or fire oh <gasps> that's cool hold on let's learn that i want to learn this spell Ooh, yes okay oh so it does give you notification thing why didn't i see one for auto that's really weird so it did say that we are now a neophyte and we've also discovered the spell Inferniate. Oh, cool. So that's the first thing we've learned. Um, all right. Well, since we've learned a spell, and I think I'm going to go ahead and send my Sims to sleep. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and head off. Thank you. Uh, wait, hold on. No, baby. You have a bed right here. You're going to sleep in that bed. This is Anissa's bed. Just letting you know. Wait, magic? Wait, what can you do? <gasps> you can set your bed on fire? <laughs> what but i like that we can do that <gasps> you can just oh shit that's so cool okay anyways i'm gonna go ahead and go thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon bye guys